Hi, this is Chateaujon, and this is going to be another of my quick, no editing, dirty tutorial videos where I'm going to teach you how to save blueprints on the workshop with a thumbnail where the blueprint is actually built. So as you know, we just released the blueprint library update. It lets you share blueprints on the workshop. It's awesome. But one thing it does is that when you save the blueprint, it takes your current screen as a screenshot for your workshop item or for your blueprint item uh, locally on your disk as well and that means it tends to be in blueprint uh, form which is okay you can still understand what's going on when it's in blueprint form but it does look a little nicer when it's an actually uh, completed form like these items over here also just in case i forget later on in the video make sure you edit your item later on and add a description like i didn't do over here so basically go to your item and then click on edit title and description and then you can edit my description here, uh, simple wall corner, yay, and then save it. And because by default, it doesn't put one for you. It just puts my description. Okay, so uh, let me teach you how to do it now. First of all, design your blueprint the way you usually would. I'm going to make something super quick because like I said, this is going to be a no editing video. So I don't want it to, uh, I don't want it to take too long. I'm literally just going to make this square here like this and I'll put some, uh, some, um, crenellations like this all right there we go so <laughs> this is a disaster so save your blueprint the way you usually would okay don't worry about it not being built for now so just test square save it the same way you usually would by selecting it typing a name and clicking the save button and you're going to notice that the screenshot that shows up here that's the one that's going to show up on the workshop it is whatever your screen is right now not including the ui so if you want it to be closer don't be afraid to zoom in real nice and then save again with the same name, it'll just change, it'll overwrite this one and change the thumbnail. Now the idea is that we want this to be built before we take the screenshot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on duplicate over here down there. That's gonna duplicate whatever blueprints I have selected and put them on my cursor as you can see. And before I place this down, I'm gonna open the settings here at the top right. I'm gonna toggle on debug display and that's gonna open a new menu over here. And in that menu, there's a button that says instant build mode. I'm gonna click that. And that's going to say debug mode here at the top right. That's how I know that it's turned on. I'm going to place my wall somewhere pretty. Like, I don't know, hey, maybe around this shard. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? There we go. And it's actually going to build it for me. If there's wood in your construction, it might. Uh, some of them might break. You'll have to rebuild them manually, but that's no big deal. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to my blueprints. I'm going to select my, my my blueprints to tell the game those are the blueprints that I want to save. But instead of leaving my camera here, I'm going to move it over to where I actually built the blueprint. It's just like that. I'm going to get a nice angle that I'm interested. Don't worry about the UI or the menus. It's, it's going to hide all of those for you. And then I'm going to make sure that it's still the same name and I'm just going to hit save. Remember, my blueprints over there are still selected. So that's what's going to be saved. I'm just using this to change what picture shows up here. So I'm going to hit save. It's going to save the blueprints that are selected over there, but it's going to use this, whatever my screen is currently showing as the image. Boom. There we go. And uh, just to prove that it works, I'm going to select this, load, and there we go. Now I have my blueprints. Well, I'm, in, I'm still in instant build mode, so that's why it's putting walls instead of blueprints. So there you go. And now you can click that, hit publish to workshop. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think you need to restart your game for the thumbnail to fully update. But I'll just make sure it's this one. It's still uploading. Oh, no, there we go. It worked instantly. So perfect. So now anybody that subscribes to this will get the blueprint. And as you can see, it shows the actually built construction. And remember to edit your title and description if you want to. So my description, just a test. Don't download this. People are going to do it anyways, just because I said not to download it. <laughs> so there we go. I hope that helps and uh, have fun making some awesome blueprints.